We will be doing this uh, picture tree with reference to acromegaly and transphenidal approach mainly. So just tell me one thing, uh, anyone, if anyone wants to answer that, what is, because uh, like any other uh, neuro uh, tumor, okay, brain tumors, what will be slightly different about picture tree? If we just try to compare between any other uh, brain tumor and pituitary tumor, what will be the difference? Or what will be the like special thing about it? Yes, Atik bhai? Uh, sir, uh, in pituitary, pituitary has all over the concern uh, sir, which I have got your from your question. No, no uh, actually, my, has... my question. I will repeat my question. Uh, like any, like any, any brain tumor, mm -hmm. it will have a mass effect. It will have a midline shift, or it will can have signs of raised ICP things like that. But usually, pituitary tumors are special. Uh, with reference, uh, 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 when we compare it to a, a tumor in any other part, there is one like big difference between pituitary tumors and tumor in any other part of brain. So the approach, the surgical approach is different? Mm, uh, no, that is related uh -huh. to surgery. So, okay. Just think, and then, think sir, it's very simple answer actually. Okay, let me, let me think yeah, then I will like, answer. You, is there any difference in the character? Like usually, what what are components of pituitary gland? Uh, the, the pituitary gland has anterior and posterior. So usually, the, this is a secreting part of brain. Secreting part of the brain, and uh, sir, uh, it so is usually the, whatever uh, tumors will be will be related to some hormone. Hormone. The, 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 there will be excess of hormones, and the, the feedback will be from the hypothalamus. Uh, they all will be related to hypothalamus and uh, feedback will be from hypothalamus and to the related organs as well. Yes. So if uh, if you just uh, broadly uh, divide them, uh, so there is one anterior pituitary and other is posterior pituitary. So actually anterior pituitary uh, tumors, they are uh, secreted uh, in like they are produced uh, in anterior pituitary hormones, they are produced in uh, pituitary, but the posterior pituitary, they are produced in hypothalamus and they are just released through posterior part. Okay. So this is uh, 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 this uh, like uh, difference between uh, if you just compare it uh, uh, to any other uh, uh, any other tumor in brain. Okay. So uh, usually as the, this, this was a point which I was just asking. Okay. So usually they are secreting tumor. Uh, the majority part are uh, which are secreting any hormone. Either it is prolactin, growth hormone, ACTH, FSH, LH, TSH. So there will be involvement of the, uh, the effects of the hormones will be there. So this is uh, one important thing. And other, as you were telling, the approach. <clears throat> What is uh, so different about transphenidal approach? Like it is uh, minimum invasive? Uh, it's, it's, it is minimally invasive. Okay. And so uh, it is and endoscopic. It is less, less painful and um, maybe the uh, hemorrhage will be less. But uh, uh, at the same time. Um, Called hemorrhage. Yes. Occult hemorrhage can occult occur. Hemorrhage. Occult hemorrhage can occur and, and sir, CN, CSF, CSF rhinorrhea can occur. CSF rhinorrhea can occur. And in addition to that, it's a shared airway. They will be uh, they, they, they will be limited access. Limit access. Okay. And in addition to that, all 
neurological in any other neurosurgery concern okay that you have to maintain the icp you have to maintain the cerebral perfusion pressure you have to avoid the the factors which can uh, decrease the cerebral uh, like uh, perfusion pressure okay so if you maintain it around 70 to 80 and all the factor because i will not go to that mm -hmm. side so if we just uh, concentrate about uh, acromegaly so what is acromegaly uh, sir acromegaly is a uh, is a large tumor of the pituitary in uh, adult patient mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, Pituitary tumor. It is a called pituitary tumor, uh, having signs symptoms of uh, growth hormone. Nearby okay, growth of, hormone. Of hormone. Growth, growth hormone. hormone. Growth hormone. If it is occurring before puberty, what is the condition resulting from it? Uh, the, uh, if 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 it is occur occurring uh, before it, it is called gigantism. Gigantism. Okay. So, like uh, there will be um, uh, too huge, the 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 pa the patients the height will be too much. Like Alam Channa from Pakistan, he was he he definitely had a gigantism. Okay, so uh, usually it is uh, related to the uh, like uh, growth hormone is affecting the whole of the body, and if there is uh, there is growth hormone excess after puberty, so there is increased skull size. Prominent supraorbital ridge, proganthism. There are headaches, micro macroglossia, and uh, there are chances of obstructive sleep apnea. Okay, there is a problem in the laryngo uh, uh, in laryngoscopy and intubation. Okay, then there is there are chances of uh, because the growth hormone is uh, uh, causing hyperglycemia, so there are chances of diabetes. Okay, there is a small vessel. Arteriopath, uh, like uh, uh, arterial, like small vessels, uh, uh, arteriosclerosis. So it is leading to hypertension. It is leading to ischemic heart disease. So these are the the, the things which are related to uh, growth hormone. So you just be knowing whenever there is um, uh, like increase in, increase secretions, there are large hand and feet, thick skin, osteoporosis. Uh, there are chances of hoarseness, recurrent laryngeal nerve palsy. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, if they will be asking you the concern, uh, because uh, there will be concerns related to upper airway obstruction, there are chances of hypertension, and the things will will be related to uh, that condition. Like uh, you know about it, if you want, if you have a patient with hypertension. You have to rule out the microvascular and macrovascular complications because of hypertension in the form of uh, CVA, in the form of heart failure, in the form of atherosclerosis, ischemic heart disease, things like that. Okay. So it, it is like uh, you will be uh, evaluating on that in that direction. Similarly, <clears throat> uh, things related to diabetes mellitus, there will be chances of uh, autonomic neuropathy, swings of blood pressure. And similarly, there will be uh, endocrine disorder, other endocrine disorders related to thyroid and adrenals. Okay, so uh, like in any other neurological neurosurgery, there may be you have to document the preoperative neurological status because postoperative there may be any neurological weakness which may be uh, related to any any part. Okay. Uh, do you remember any question related to acromegaly, Big uh, Sir, uh, there was a question um, okay. about the uh, AMCQs or uh, some in viva. Any, any like any point because uh, the same point you you sir, can. Uh, 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 sir, uh, what are the uh, what are the symptoms of? Uh, Acromegaly, sir. This is this was a simple question. I will, uh, if you want, I would can share in uh, your group, sir. Okay. MCQs. No so, uh, like this are I I I will share this thing as well. But uh, these are the things like uh, there are mass effects. Uh, <laughs> sir, sir, this... sir, there was a question about the 
if uh, if there will be difficult intubation in uh, acromegaly or sir uh, there is uh, what is what is um, some extra uh, he, he has given some extra point about it uh, what is present in uh, uh, cpap will you give cpap in uh, uh, acromegaly or uh, sir uh, there is sir there is question about that uh, about the minimal invasive mm -hmm. and uh, sir uh, in which uh, in which approach there will be why post saphenoidal approach is important and uh, why you uh, why you give uh, mother sir uh, if the tumor size is more than 10 it is also an mcqs mm -hmm. uh, uh, and sir there was uh, um, in, in uh, uh, what about growth hormone uh, if growth hormone will be present or not uh, okay i would like uh, actually the, because uh, uh, it, uh, like uh, this pituitary tumors are related to a multi systemic uh, things so you should be knowing they have just made a, make a mnemonic about it go look for the adenoma please growth hormone uh, lh fsh tsh acth prolactin okay and uh, sir, and sir, sir so excuse me sir there is two more questions about that okay. uh, in post posterior uh, uh, posterior this one one is about the diabetes and spiders second mm -hmm. about the cerebral cell bursting syndrome and third is about the SIDH, if it occurs in this or not. Sir, uh, uh, in, uh, uh, after the second to third operative days. So what is the answer? Sir, it, uh, mostly, sir, it was the uh, uh, diabetes and spiders and you... You, you see, they have written, it is usually occurring delayed. And diabetes and spiders is more common. More common. Okay. So these are just uh, like uh, a summary. Um, you, uh, what is bitemporal hemianopia? I forgot these things. Bitemporal yes. hemianopia is, I think, uh, the the ins like medial uh, vision from both sides because temporal is uh, uh, related to the uh, this uh, medial side. Am I right? You're right, sir. And sir, a, another another question another question was about the neuropathy, peripheral neuropathy, which um, uh, uh, proximal peripheral neuropathy, and uh, what about the uh, when you were intubating the patient, mm -hmm. uh, what you will look after, uh, what you will do while intubating the patient. So what will we do? Your blood reflexes, sir. Okay, so the bitemporal hemianopia is the missing in the outer half of both the right and left visual field okay so it is associated with because there is cross that is the confusion for me if anyone can uh, explain uh, what will be bitemporal like I, i'm just thinking that if it is the temporal side so vision will be the the medial aspect is it like that or no Yes, sir, you are right. Okay. So anyways, this is, uh, uh, I will suggest you to have a look at about it because uh, I cannot recall, uh, but uh, this is uh, uh, like uh, uh, about the optic pathway. Okay. And usually it is the opposite side uh, of the vision which is gone. Okay. So like any other neurosurgery, there will be chances uh, of uh, increased ICP. There will be any cranial L parsi, any neurological weakness. So the, this is you should be knowing about it. Okay, so that's what they have written: shared airway, head up position, tube may be dislodged. There may be airway bleeding, venous air embolism. Okay, uh, like any other neurosurgery, and postoperatively, as I as you as you told that whenever there is involvement of ADH, either it may be diabetes and spidus, or there may be SIADH. Okay, so like your goals. Are to you are meant optimizing. There may be some medications to control the endocrine effects preoperatively, also to reduce the size of the tumor, and then they proceed with it. Okay. So, uh, so whenever they want to have a neurological evaluation, they want to have medication. Do don't have the active metabolism and delayed recovery. Okay. 
and uh, they want to have a uh, like smooth recovery okay so these are some things about it just have a look some words about uh, like whenever there is problem with the mandible and airway there will be chances of having difficult intubation whenever there is involvement about connective tissue there may be some involvement of recurrent laryngeal nerve okay and problem with the mask ventilation or intubation so uh, because of soft soft tissue overgrowth there will be chances of obstructive sleep apnea that's that's what they have uh, explained here There is a question about the. Uh, I, will, I will share it. Uh, Octreotide. Octreotide. Is, the, is the role of octreotide in uh, uh, acromegaly? Um, yes. Uh, it is uh, octreotide, is, if I'm not wrong, it is a vasopressin like medication. Uh, sir, octreotide is uh, for the, it is a sumastatine, sumastatine like medication, sir. It is for the uh, carcinoid syndrome. But, sir, for large tissue tumor, why it is? Uh, Somatostatine or octreotide are the same thing, sir. Is, is I, it rather I think it is, uh, it is, uh, uh, it has the same effects like ADH. And it is inhibitor of growth hormone. See, it is, uh, a, sir, it is a potent inhibitor of growth hormone. Desmopressin or visopressin have the, the same effect. Okay. Then, and, and I'm mixing it up. Because, you know, the medication which we never use, we forget. Okay. I have never used in my life uh, octreotide. So, that's why. I, but it is, you see, it is potent inhibitor of growth hormone. Octreotide. Okay. So that's why it's being used in uh, acromegaly. So two two times uh, came in, uh, sir. Uh, these um, CPSP viva. One mm -hmm. uh, uh, one is for growth hormone, raising hormone, and somatostatin, somatostatin or extrotide debate with the answer. And second one is the uh, when I have shared the MCQs in your group, sir. Uh, uh, the uh, Gramegali is important in such a concentration. Which of the following statement Gramegali is most accurate? I think it is the uh, thyroxine. You, you will give a supplemental thyroxine. No, and which, and this, is, the, this is a question uh, the, which you. The, yes, is an important anesthetic. Uh, con, uh, is an, which of the following statements regarding acromegaly is most accurate? It is caused by excessive growth hormone secretion. Before fusion of physician, no. After it is associated with hypoglycemia, no. It is associated with hyperglycemia. Upper airway obstruction yeah. is unusual, no. Upper airway obstruction is common. Supplemental thyroxine yeah. may be required because TSH level is reduced. Uh, this is one thing. And treatment is hypophysectomy, but care must be taken to avoid giving steroids improperly as the adrenals are hypertrophic in these individuals. No, I, I answer. What is the answer in the key? It is, I think, D. Sir, answer in the key is the D. D for do, D for doctor. Am I right? This is D the for data. Yes. D for data. Yes. Sir. Okay. Answer in this this in the second question. The answer is the octreotide. Okay, exhibited signs Garmin. and symptoms of acromegaly. Okay, radiological studies showed the presence of a large pituitary tumor. Surgical treatment of tumor was only partially effective in controlling the disease. At this point, which of the following drugs is most likely to be used? Yes, it is octreotide. I don't, I'm not sure about these medication, uh, leu, leuprolide and uh, somatotropin. So whenever you read such MCQs, you should be just uh, having a look about these uh, other options so that you will be, your knowledge will be expanded. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, so... These are all uh, MCQs. They can ask you about which... Uh, how pituitary uh, uh, like uh, functions are uh, being controlled, which hormones is related to which? Uh, sir, sir, this this answer was this 
uh, a question was taken from Josefa. Uh, sir, I can send you the whole uh, uh, sir, uh, the whole answer of this. I can send like this one, B12. Josefa was uh, given this one. Sir, I can send it this one. Okay. I think it's the same. I think this is the same question, sir. Yes. Okay. So uh, any other any other comments about this topic? Because I will just summarize that pituitary tumors, we, you should be knowing what is the physiology, what are the different hormones secreted, what are how is their uh, feedback, and what are the organs involved because of this uh, uh, different hor uh, hormones. Because uh, our TSH is related to thyroid, uh, ACTH is related to adrenal, uh, prolactin is related to lactation, okay? And this LH, FSH is related to the uh, reproductive system. So uh, whatever uh, tumor will be secreted, there will be things, uh, concerns, concerns related to that tumor. And uh, there will be effects, systemic effects because of that tumor. So that will be your one consideration. The other thing will be if they are doing it as a trastafinidal. So as I told you, there will be chances or like there will be concerns of shared airway. There will be chances of um, bleeding in the airway and all other neurological neurosurgery concerns will be there. Like any baseline neurological deficit or post-operative neurological problems. So rest of the things are the same. So actually it seems a very simple topic, but and it is integrated. When whenever you are, they are asking you this question in the exam as a long case, or if you are trying to attempt a question for MCQs, or the, you are being asked this question in the SAQs, so you should be knowing that don't forget about neuro, don't forget about endocrine effects, because you can easily miss because you are only concentrating on pituitary. So you will may you are you are bound to miss uh, these points, which are common, which uh, we when whenever we are studying any neurosurgery the same concern would be there there will be uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, sir, this one. yes sir this one sir i was this was the uh, mostly frequently coming uh, okay so answer. we will just okay presents for a transphenylated dissection of a pituitary tumor which of the following does not indicate an excess of growth hormone so macroglossia is there os is there cardiomyopathy is there impaired it it should be retrogratinism because there is pro retrogratinism, I think it is uh, back going back of uh, jaw, if I'm not wrong. I think this should be the answer. What is the answer? Sir, he is, you are totally right. Sir, he is, this is the answer. Okay. Mashallah. So, is the type of malocclusion yeah. which refers to an abnormal posterior positioning of maxilla. It's uh, like retracted inside, going inside. Okay. So whenever you see a baby like this, this is a haunting, okay? Because you will have definitely difficult intubation. Okay. So any questions, please? I will share these articles. Uh, but remember one thing I again repeat, I'm repeating again and again this topic. You should be knowing about, they in this case, you should they can ask you about hypertension. They can ask you about diabetes. They can ask you about difficult intubation. They can ask you about neurological problems. They can ask you about all the concerns about neurosurgery. They can ask you about anything about e actually in ENT surgery, just like ENC, ENT surgery, because there will be throat pack. There will be chances of bleeding. There may be post-operative bleeding, airway collapse and airway bleeding. There will be chances related to OSC. Okay. Uh, Dr. Dora, uh, any any comments? Anything? Uh, no. Uh, well, I, I wrote in the chat because we were speaking of uh, obstructed, but I've seen it used in the ICU, but uh, uh, sometimes to uh, help control um, gastrointestinal yeah, bleeding. As well. bleeding. Of course, yeah. you are absolutely right. Actually, they, uh, uh, it is actually, I think, it reduces the, the blood flow to the gut. There, its effect there is like that. Am I right? <laughs> Probably so. I, I must admit I'm not. I wasn't sure of the exact uh, mechanism. Yes. Actually, uh, um, this is now my weakness. I'm not working in ICU. So a number of things I am, the, the things which you don't do, you forget. Okay. 
and this is uh, the blessing of all of you that I am in touch with the studies. If I leave this, maybe I will also uh, start resting. Okay. So I think um, uh, again, Dr. Dora's favorite lumbar drain. Okay. <laughs> You know the uh, you remember you you pointed it out about CSF drainage. So whenever there is uh, uh, any concerns related to neurosurgery uh, or raised ICP, these are the things uh, which are being done commonly. Okay. So I think we will just uh, stop here. And um, you know yes. what I am trying to do. I am uh, because whosoever knows me when I was preparing for my exams, this was my. I used to say that this is my darling book. I love this book. Okay. Um, and uh, maybe at some point of time, I will share the, the scan copy of the book, which I had. I had just uh, make in separate pages and I had noted down so many things. Okay. It's an old book now, but it is a wonderful book for majority of topics. So for some time, I will just try to cover one by one we this we did we discussed about this abdominal aortic aneurysm okay and we just did it in two and uh, at the same time we just uh, expand our domain and we discussed some things about monitored anesthesia care conscious sedation okay and our tomorrow tomorrow maybe or day after tomorrow our topic will be asthma okay uh, sir you are right but uh, sir there is another question sir yes service come Okay, what is this question? Uh, each of the following this is, is from, associated with acromegalic. This is from Brian Hall. Brian Hall. I okay, will share uh, each of the following is associated with acromegalic patients undergoing transphenidal vasectomy, except so there is enlargement of tongue and epiglitis, there is narrowing of glottic opening, nasal turbinate should be used post operatively, except so I think this is also correct. This is also correct. This is also correct. I think this Sir, he is asking except is it B or C? Is because... it D, D. Huh? It is D. D for doctor or B for boy? D, D for doctor. The answer is D. Answer okay. is D. Should be used post operative because of Mm, I'm not sure about it. Can you sh share the explanation? Uh, okay, sir. Okay, I will share explanation. And sir, uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, 515 of the sixth edition of the Brain Hall. And sir, I will share the answer as well. The, the, the four or five questions are only from acromegaly, sir. But actually, this is a topic with which so many topics are in touch. Are, uh... yes, sir, this is very important topic, sir. This is very, sir, uh, uh, without this, why cannot we complete it, sir? Yes. So, where is the explanation? Sir, I send it. Uh, enlargement of tongue and epiglottis produces both the patient to our upper airway. Obstruction and make visualization of cords more difficult. The vocal cords are enlarged, making the glottic opening narrower. In addition, subglottic narrowing may be present as well as tracheal compression from an enlarged thyroid. Uh, in about 25% of it, this often associates the use of a narrower endotracheal tube. The placement of nasal airway may be more difficult due to enlarged nasal terminate. The use of CPAP is contraindicated after transphenidal surgery. Sir, they, uh, this is a trick, sir, because yes. if you will do uh, CPAP, you will disturb the all the. Uh, oh no, this is this was a trick. Yes, you are absolutely right. We all were thinking only about acromegaly. We were not thinking <laughs> about transphenidal hypophysectomy. You are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. You know that's why. Uh, remember one thing, that uh, MCQs. They, they, the answer is being created by a very small point. Okay, so the stem. I will again suggest you that you should be reading the stem very carefully. Okay, like you undergoing acromegalic patient undergoing. So I was, I, I just uh, 
read Akiromagali. I did not read this one okay so i missed the answer uh, sir the, uh, the, uh, the, maybe the should be used post operative uh, it yes. is advisable but not post operative sir sure so anyways we will just stop here and uh, thanks a lot all of you for your presence tomorrow inshallah we will uh, do this as okay we will just uh, try to touch and if you can uh, atik bhai if you can share questions related to asthma uh, and points related to asthma in the group, uh, it will be good. Okay, uh, sir. So before, before or after? Before or after? Before, no problem. Hold up the day, you can do it. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, I will tomorrow. So tomorrow I will. Not all of you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Assalamualaikum.